Well, hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are, another brand new week. You know what that means? Yes, another brand new video. And in today's brand new video, I'm going to do a part two of my whiskey collection. I'm going to sample some bottles, show you some bottles. A lot of these bottles I bought in the early days. Now I think some of them are only available through auction or through the secondary market, through swapping and stuff like that. And uh, some of the prices have just got to such a degree where they might not even be worth opening anymore. Just before I do the video, guys, I'm just going to do a friendly reminder from me to thee. Just get the housekeeping out of the way. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, then thanks very much and welcome back. If you just so happen to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've come to the right channel. Uh, hopefully, if you like what I'm doing, you can give me the thumbs up. You may want to consider hitting that subscribe button down below, guys. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And you're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 1k that's the target for the channel at the moment guys is to try and hit that elusive 1000 subscribers i think we're well on the way there and thanks to everyone who's hit that button already and maybe to all the ones who haven't quite done it yet it's just down there guys so okay let's get on to the the bottles the first one i'm going to do is it was my whiskey of the year last year and I'm on to my last bottle of this. I haven't quite opened this one yet, so I'm kind of hanging out there. It's the old Pulteney 21. Uh, I bought this, must be six or seven years ago, just when it came out. Um, but to get a hold of one of these now, guys, you're probably, particularly in the UK and Europe maybe, because it's discontinued now. So it's a wee bit harder to get a hold of. I know in the states and stuff like that there's still some of these kicking around so if, if you're in the states guys uh i would snatch these up if anyone in the states is happy enough to get me a bottle i'll be quite happy to send you the cash for it and if you can send me some over because it's just it's so tough to get a hold of here now possibly at auction these guys they're going for 200 to 300 pounds for one of these um Super, super whiskey. It's fantastic stuff. Typical old Pulteney. As I say, I think it's won World Whiskey of the Year now a couple of times. I think the 25s won it as well. But as I say, yeah, the 17 is another one, which is another fun favourite. That may pop up in a later video. Um, but again, both of them are discontinued now. So that's that's the first bottle is the old Pulteney 21 uh, Whiskey Friend Whiskey of the Year 2018. Moving on to the next one guys, I'm heading over to the Highlands. Uh, let's have a look at this. It's We're looking at Glengoyne. This Glengoyne's a little bit different because you'll probably see it's a different colour to most Glengoynes. I'll just show you a typical Glengoyne colour, which that's typical Glengoyne. That's actually the teapot dram, which again may pop up in a later video. But this is old particular, uh, it's Douglas, Douglas Lang uh, bottled this, it's from the Highlands, single cask, uh, Glen Goyne, 20 years old this one is, it's one of 287 bottles charred from refill hogsheads, uh, single cask that was distilled in December 1996, bottled in March 2017. This is a bottle that I bought at auction. Uh, it's 50% ABV and it's natural cast strength at 50%. And to all you American guys, that's 100 proof. So that's another fantastic bottle. Again, this one, fantastic. I'm looking at some point to open these. Um, I think that one there is still, is still within the money. I think I paid about 80 pounds for that, which I think was a steal. 80 pounds i don't think i'd get that for 80 pounds now so 80 pounds it's still worth as a 20 year old whiskey i'm still happy to open that one so that one's fantastic so that's staying on the, the highlands i'm moving over to the first editions this is a, another single cask it's a mcduff distillery 21 year old mcduff so it's a mcduff 1997 fantastic stuff mcduff again was one of the first distilleries that I came across um, just to cut a long story short there was a whiskey shop where I used to work and they had quite a bit of McDuff so I did try some of that they actually had some at the time you could pour your own bottle at the time 
uh, that's in stock now. Um, but yeah, now this one again, it's again from Hogsheads, refill Hogsheads, uh, single cask, 21 year old, bottled in 2018, 51.5 ABV, uh, so super, super stuff. Again, I bought this one at auction. I actually got a steal with this guys, I think I paid about £50 for this one. So sometimes the auctions are the place to go because you can pick up some real bargains, particularly if the, the distilleries are kind of under the radar distillery, I think McDuff is one of them. I think most people know it is the Glendevron or the Devron, uh, that's who we are now. So that's my second, uh, third bottle, sorry, that's the McDuff 1997, uh, the first editions bottling, uh, super super stuff. So moving on, I'm going to another independent bottler guys, this is the old malt casks, always at 50% ABV, 100 proof to you guys. Uh, this one again, this is a this is a Glen Keith distillery and again it's 20 years of old, 20, 20 years of age. Uh, again this one is single cask, was distilled in August 1996 and bottled in February 2017. It's from the Speyside region. And again, this one is one of 726 bottles charged from a refill, but again, super, super stuff. It's got some notes on this one. I haven't actually opened this either. This is sweet licorice with vanilla and pears on the nose. Palette is smooth with custard, soft fruits and cinnamon spice. And on the finish, it's long, dry and fruity. So that's one I'll definitely looking forward to opening. Fantastic stuff. Again, bottle at auction. Another steal, I think I paid about 65 for that one. Uh, again, these are great money. I think with taxis, I think I, I totaled about 65. I think I paid about 55 with it, but with delivery and tax, it came out about 65 pounds. So, moving on, I'm gonna drop in another uh, bourbon, guys. Uh, this one, it's the Balcones. I've just picked this one up, funny enough, I've just, Poured a little bit of this Balcones, look at that colour, that is phenomenal stuff. Unfortunately I don't know too much about this Balcones, I can't really get a hold of much here. So I think I've been scrolling through the auctions again, um, I, I think I paid decent money for this, I think I paid £35. By the time I put the taxis on and delivery I think it was about £40, which I think is... It's good money because we say we can't get a hold of that here. That might be cheaper in America, um, but here to get a hold of it, it's the Balcones Texas Texas Rye, 100 proof. It's pot still, pot distilled. Uh, the original Texas Spirit, which looks fantastic. This one has got a batch number. Rye 10018.7, and I think this was bottled in. Let's have a look. Uh, 1912 2018 so yeah so I'm gonna have a little sip of that one yeah the balcon is just, I'm not sure if you actually call this a whiskey or a bourbon but uh, let's have a quick look see if it tells me uh, do, 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 do. it's just classed as a Texas spirit so that's that's another new one so let's have a quick sip of this while you're here wow it smells Definitely get that ride note straight away. Spicy. Some chocolate. Let's taste it. Wow. Very, very nice. Very oily. Very whiskous. Great set of legs on it, guys. I don't know if you can pick up the legs on that. Fantastic legs. Yeah, it's spicy. It's chocolate. A little bit of coffee there as well, I think. Real, real nice. I think I will do a review of this one, guys, later on at some point. See, I'm just getting to know it. That's that's the neck pour. I've only poured that about 10 minutes ago. Um, but right away, it's still got that. It's sweet. But it's, yeah, it's coffeed. Chocolatey. Dark chocolate. Spicy. Lovely. So, that's Balcones. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. Move on to the sixth one. I'm going to try and keep you PT guys happy now. So I'm moving on to Lagavulin. Back on the Isla. This is the Lagavulin Jazz. This is the 2017 Lagavulin Jazz. 
uh, bottled specially to, to celebrate the Eilie Jazz Festival in 2017. This is bottled at 50, a whopping 57.6. I picked this up at auction. I got a good deal on it. I think I paid about £100 for this at auction. But I think to get a hold of these now, this is one of these bottles that's just gone crazy. Uh, this is one of 2,667 bottles. But just I've just checked recently, the latest Lagavulin Jazz is actually £400 at the distillery. So I'd hate to think what they're going to cost at auction. Um, so that's probably one of the ones where it's, it's outrun its value. Uh, I think I paid about £100 for it. But the value of that now is just a phenomenal amount of money. I probably could get £500 for that um, if I were to put that back to auction now. But the chances are I'm not here to flip whiskies anymore, guys. I'm here to drink whiskies and share whiskies. So that would need to be a really, really special occasion, that one, to crack that open and share it. So moving on, I'm heading on the next couple, guys. I'm moving on to Aaron, the Isle of Aaron. Again, I'm staying with Pete. This is part of the Macri Moor range. This is Aaron's Peated range. Beautifully finished. The, the packaging in this is fantastic. There's a really nice silver tin that goes with it as well. But this is this is the Macri Moor, the Peated version of Aaron. It's bottled. This is the first edition bottle. It's bottled at. Where are we? Let's have a look on here. Uh, it is 58.4. That's a whopper, that one is, guys. So there is a full range of these at the minute, guys. I'm just showing you the first one now but there is there is four or five of these and I see Aaron have now just this this was from the original Aaron distillery but now as people know that they've actually opened a second distillery in Aaron which is the lag distillery which is going to concentrate on the peated stuff so again that one I bought that one I think I paid about 40 pounds for it now but it's, it's a first edition so I think you're looking to pick that up at auction now, that could be anywhere near about £100 that at auction. So it's super, super stuff. Cheap enough still to crack open, so at some point guys that may open. The difficulty I have now is just cracking these bottles open for reviews and tasting them. And there's no, I don't think there's much point for me reviewing these if they're not easy to get a hold of. So, so I think this is the best way I can get to show these bottles now is just to show them on really on a collection video. Uh, and hopefully one day I get to share them out and, and share them amongst the community. So the last bottle I've got tonight, guys, is going to be the, another Aaron. This is quite special, this one. This is part of the Aaron Smugglers series. It's a trilogy. I have all three, so the other two may pop up in later videos. This is the first one, which is the Illicit Stills. It's all about smuggling. Aaron was one of those distilleries back in its past. It was all illegal and it was all smuggling. Beautiful backstory, but I say the presentation of these is absolutely fantastic. Um, hence the books in here. So it's about smuggling going on. Um, so I'll just pop that out of here just to give you a quick look at that, guys. Let's make sure that can come out. Beautiful finishing. See, there is there is three of these. Um, but this is beautiful little bottle here, which is the the Aaron. It's James McTaggart. Is uh, this again is bottled at cast strength, guys? It's fifty six point four. Uh, there's no age statement on this one, uh, but again, this is another one of these that's it's probably it's probably not as worth now to buy this and drink it. It's more a collector's item, I think. Um, but for me. Maybe one day again, this may get opened. So, that's that's another little list, guys. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's another eight, guys. So, I see I don't want to make the videos too long. Let's have another little sip of this. This rye is just whiffing around the room, which is fantastic. Super stuff. So, that's that's part two, guys. I don't know how many parts this is going to be, so I may, I may try and fit some more bottles into future videos, um, but I'll stick with these eight at the minute, I want to try and keep it around about 10, well I'm moving on to 15 minutes now, so I was actually planning to do about 10 to 15 minutes, so I've just passed the 15. So if you've liked it guys, you know what to do, just give me the thumbs up, if you've subscribed then thanks very much, if you haven't quite subscribed, 
what you're waiting for guys the button's down there it's free doesn't cost you anything and you're helping the channel on its way to the magical monkey so that's me guys i'm alan the only thing left to see is the pleasure is in the sharing and i'll look out for you in the next one guys thanks very much bye bye